Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so as you can tell already behind me, I have put up all of my Christmas decorations, which means it is officially December. So, kind of in the Christmas spirit, shopping is a big thing in December because you're shopping for Christmas. And last week was Black Friday, and it was the first time that I have ever gone Black Friday shopping, and I got a lot. For the most part, a lot of the things that I spent the most money on were for presents for my family and friends, but there was still a lot of things that I bought for myself. So today I thought that I would do a haul video, which is something that I never really thought that I'd be doing on this channel. But again, I'm not the kind of person that goes out and does a bunch of shopping all at once. I kind of just buy little things here and there. But I went and spent quite a bit of money, all within about a four day period. So I thought that today I would show you all of the things that I bought. Granted, I can't show you everything I bought because some of the things are presents, so I can't share those because those people watch these videos but I will show you a good decent amount. There's a lot of stuff from Lush and a lot of clothes. So if you're into this kind of video, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if not, I hope you still enjoy it. Like, I'm excited. This is something that I've never done before. So first things first, something that I'm wearing right now is a sweatshirt that I got from American Eagle. And it basically just makes me look like more like a hobo than I usually do. And the reason I like it and the reason I bought it was because one, everything in American Eagle was 40% off. And two, this is the coziest thing I have ever bought ever. And three, it's perfect for dancing and like lounging. And I am taking dance again. So it'll be nice to have this warm little cozy thing during the winter to dance in and also just lounge around in because it's so cozy. And I'm filming in it right now because it's just so cozy. Let's get into the things that are a little more embarrassing, like this giant bag of Lush products. I went a little overboard at Lush. The Lush that is closest to me is about 45 minutes away. So when I go to Lush, I usually go ham in there and I buy as much as I can afford. In this bag, we have, this is the Cinder's bath bomb. It just kind of smells like how you would imagine it would smell while sitting by a fire with some cinnamon. And this was one of the ones that I went back for because my friend mentioned it and said that it smelled really good and it smelled like a fire and that it just was one of the best ones that she ever used and it's her favorite. So I had to go back and try it. All of these are from our like Christmas and holiday line, which is super exciting because I've never bought anything from it before. So I'm enjoying it. It all smells really nice. So second thing that I bought is one that my friend Rachel talked me into buying because it's just so cute. It's this little bear and it's called Butter Bear and it's a bath bomb. It smells like creamy, buttery, vanilla. They did a little show and tell thing where they dropped one in the water while I was there. And that was the reason why I bought it because it dropped in and then just immediately started fizzing like crazy and I was just like, I need this, I need this so bad. Next one was another one that I went back for later on because I couldn't resist it. It is the Snow Angel Bath Melt and they told me that it's kind of like a bath melt and a bath bomb all in one because it fizzes and it makes your water all creamy and soft. That's a weird thing to say that makes water creamy, but it does. It makes it moisturizing and it smells like vanilla and it just smells so nice and it's kind of sparkly and I know a lot of people don't like the sparkly stuff from Lush, but I love it. Speaking of sparkly stuff from Lush, this is going to get everywhere. This is the Holly Go Lightly Bubble Bar and it looks like this. Oh my gosh. This one smells really strongly. Like I've been having these sitting across the room from me for the past like couple of days and this smells like a pine tree. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it just smells nice. It just smells like Christmas. It smells like pine and it smells like cookies and holly, I guess. It's mother holly. And it's super sparkly and it's a bubble bar. It's one of the really big bubble bars and I was able to use my last big one that was about this size about eight times. And it's really just, it's worth the money that it's like $10 and it's definitely worth the money. Look at this. Look at these sparkles. It does leave behind that uh, sparkly residue. So if you don't like that, I know again, a lot of people don't like the sparkly stuff from Lush because it gets everywhere. So if you don't like that, I definitely recommend not using it, not buying that one, but I like the sparkly stuff. Okay, this one, this was an impulse buy. Uh, it is the Peppermint Bark Body Scrub. And literally, I can't describe this any more accurately than peppermint bark. It smells exactly like peppermint chocolate. Okay, this one is the Yognog Bath Bomb. And my friend just used it the other day and said that it was really nice. It smells very sweet and it smells like 
a holiday drink. Like it just smells really, really nice. This one is another one of my favorites that I'm super excited for. It's the Peeping Santa Bubble Bar. And look how cute it is. I can't get over how cute he is. Oh my gosh. This one smells like strawberries and cream, kind of. I think that his eyes are chocolate chips. I might be wrong about that. All I can taste is soap when I do that. Don't do that. Last, but certainly not least, this is one of the bath bombs that I really, really liked. And I saw Zoella, Zoe Sugg, use this, not use it, but talk about it in one of her videos. This one, if you've ever used the Twilight Bath Bomb from Lush, it smells just like that, so it smells like lavender. Apparently it's multicolored, which is really exciting. It's got that cute little holly leaf on the top, just to make it Christmassy. That's it for the Lush stuff. So let's get into the clothes. Okay, so first things first, I bought this really cool bag from Hot Topic, because for anybody who knows me, I'm obsessed with Peter Pan and they had this bag and it was on sale for like four dollars and it looks like it reminds me of the Goonies and also of Mariana's Trench's new album Astoria like it looks like the cover so I couldn't resist buying this but in this bag is a bunch of stuff that I bought clothing wise so let's get into it first things first this dress okay so this is a velvet smock dress that I bought from Wet Seal. I have been looking for a velvet smock dress to wear on Christmas because my family always has this big Christmas party and everybody dresses up super nice and I have been looking for something like this for a very long time and I finally found one and I got it for $10 because Black Friday and it is so cute. I'm so excited to wear it. It's probably my favorite thing that I bought out of everything that I bought on Black Friday. Next we have from Forever 21, these sweater leggings. Now, I never thought that I would be the kind of person to buy sweater leggings, but these are super fun. I'm probably gonna wear them to this ugly Christmas sweater party thing that I'm going to. They have gingerbread men on them and little candy canes. They're also the most comfortable pair of pants I have ever put on in my entire life. I think they were about $15 when I got them. The one other thing that I bought from Forever 21 are these peanut socks. They have Charlie Brown on them and it just says, Ah, on it and it's just so cute. Anybody who knows me, I grew up with uh, watching all the Charlie Brown movies and I'm obsessed. And I went to go see the Peanuts movie last week and it was so cute and I cried a little bit because the ending, just, just go see it. Keeping with the Peanuts vibe, I bought this Merry Christmas Charlie Brown t-shirt. It's like long sleeve. It's kind of thin, but it's still really cozy. It's got Snoopy, Woodstar, Charlie Brown, Linus, Lucy, and it's got the red doghouse. And it says Merry Christmas, got snow. And I wore it while we were putting up the Christmas tree and I felt super festive. And again, keeping with the Peanuts vibe, I bought these sweatpants. Both of these are from Kohl's, by the way. Really good deals at Kohl's. I got that shirt for like $5. And I got these sweatpants for 10 I think? So they say peanuts all along the side, and I don't have that many pairs of sweatpants, and I couldn't resist buying these, because again, I tried them on, they were so soft, so comfortable. I don't have very many lounge things, so that's why this shirt and these sweatpants and just comfy clothes are a go-to for me when I go out shopping, because I don't have very many comfortable clothes to wear when I'm lounging around the house. Something that I bought at Target a little bit before Black Friday was this, you can't even tell what it is when I hold it up. But it's a big poncho, and I was kind of hesitant to buy it because it's huge. This is a small, and it's huge, but it's really cute, and it came with this little fuzzy collar on the top, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the collar, so I took it off because I think it looks cuter without it. But I'm going to wear it with some leggings and some boots, and I'm going to look cute. Okay. I was wearing this in my last video where I did the whole superlatives thing, so I kind of bought this like two or three days before Black Friday, so this was not on sale. This was a $50 scarf from Nordstrom. Okay, it wasn't $50, it was $45, but my friends won't stop bothering me about it. But this is the most comfortable scarf I have ever owned. It's a really cute pattern. It's got plaid. I can wear it with just about any plain colored t-shirt and it's super warm. So it'll be good for this winter and all of my friends can stop bothering me about it because it's cute, okay? It's cute. We're down to the last two. Okay, so this, for anybody that knows me, my favorite store to shop at is admittedly Hot Topic. Why? Because it is my nerd haven. I can buy just about any nerd thing that I need. Hot Topic was having this sale for like buy one get one half off t-shirts 
and that was about a week before Black Friday. My friend and I were at the mall and we saw this and we were considering buying these t-shirts but we didn't because we were like let's wait until Black Friday and see what the sales are like. Well it was totally worth it to wait because not only were they still buy one get one half off but every single t-shirt was $10 when I went. So I got two t-shirts for $15 at Hot Topic when it's usually 22 per t-shirt. So the two t-shirts that I bought are a Jurassic Park t-shirt, which it has that kind of cinched collar around the top and the, and the sleeves, and it's got the basic Jurassic Park design, and I really have been wanting one of these shirts that looks like it's from the actual park, like you could buy it at a park if you actually went to Jurassic Park, if it existed. So the other t-shirt that I bought was this one. It's the Blurry Face album cover for 21 Pilots. My hand's above my head, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, I got this because I love this album and I love this album cover and they had all these cool 21 Pilots t-shirts. It was going back and forth between this one and one that was completely covered in the bird design. It said, uh, don't let me be gone along the bottom. It was a really cool t-shirt. And I was struggling to pick out which one I wanted out of the both of these, but, uh, this one prevailed, clearly, uh, but this one's really cool and I like it. And yeah, that is it for my Black Friday haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little different than what I usually do, but I enjoy doing this and I hope you guys enjoy watching this and I hope that you guys will go Black Friday shopping next year. Get all of your Christmas shopping out of the way now because I have all of mine done and it feels so nice to be done. I have nothing to stress out about anymore. Also, about this video, I will put all of the like descriptions of where I got everything and the prices of everything. Well, the prices I got them at. I don't know how much they'll be when you go looking for them, but the Black Friday deals and everything that I got down below will be listed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next weekend with a new video. Goodbye. Just stay.